Hi, I'm Lisa, and welcome back to my Fat React series, where I react to different aspects of health culture. This includes the fat acceptance community, the fitness community, as well as popular health and beauty trends. Lizzo, as you may know, is a very popular, very famous singer. She's a body positivity advocate and overall sunshine personality. I say that because personally, personally, when I watch a video with Lizzo in it, I can't help but smile because her energy is just so infectious that I'm like, I feel like she'd be fun to hang out with, you know? But she's been featured in a lot of popular culture lately. She was featured in the most recent South Park episode as a weight loss substitute. I have a video on that coming soon. But there's also been a lot of takes about how she is supposedly promoting obesity with her body positivity stance. Now, just to put it out there, I am not body positivity, I'm not fat acceptance, I'm not fat liberation, I have issues with all of those things, but I do understand the concept of loving yourself. I do think if you are overweight and you want to lose weight, the act of losing weight is an act of loving yourself. And having to give yourself good vibes and good feelings and, and feel that love for yourself is a very important step to losing weight, making yourself healthier, overall living a more healthy lifestyle. But she also didn't get a lot of flack and you know, maybe she has in the past said, you know, you could be healthy in every size. I don't really know. I know that she's said big girls are beautiful. I know she says to love yourself. Um, she certainly doesn't tell people to, you know, not work out, <laughs> to tell people to, to gain more weight. Um, we know that much. So she can't be promoting obesity in that way. It is weird, right, that one person can supposedly get so much credit for, like, promoting obesity. And not, like, you know, maybe the standard American diet. I bring this up all the time. I mean, look up the dietary guidelines for America. Not the best stuff they're telling you to eat. And what we have not talked about, and what I have not seen a lot of other anti-FA people talk about as well, is how Lizzo's lost a lot of weight. And more than that, she's documenting her fitness journey on TikTok, and she's showing you how much healthier that she's actually getting. It seemed that like two years ago, Lizzo started her own fitness journey. That kind of dispels the narrative that she's promoting obesity. She's still telling you to love yourself. She's still telling you that you're beautiful at, at any size that you are, but she's also setting this example of like, hey, there's issues with my body, I'm taking steps to correct it. Now she may not specifically say, I'm trying to lose weight, but she is demonstrating that she's taking steps towards a healthy lifestyle, which is very beneficial. And I have some videos about that. I'm gonna show you a series of videos, kind of starting from where she was, see, appeared to be on her heaviest, um, to her workout routines and things that she's doing now to be healthier. But yeah, let's get started on that and, and see, kind of see what she's doing. Okay, so as we can see in this video here, likely at her heaviest, and I'm not showing this to like, you know, put her down or anything, but I'm just showing kind of like where she started. This is her in concert. She is a very significantly overweight. Um, clearly thriving. She has a great career. Just, I heard mention, I'm not sure if it's one of these videos, but she did have some, she called it her back problems. Now, whether those back problems were, you know, caused by dancing or other factors, one can only suspect that they are exasperated, if not outright caused, by her being overweight. We have another video here from 2022, and you can see that she's not eating the healthiest foods back in 2022. I'm not trying to put down exactly what she's eating. I'm just saying as an example of like, if you're eating these things, um, deep fried chicken, it's not the best food for you. Lots of seed oils, lots of oil in general, just you know, increase the amount of calories. And then you can see other videos of her trying to eat more healthy. So in this video, you can see that she's making some oats. I don't think oats are the best food for getting healthy. I know we think of them as the healthy foods. Um, there's actually a lot of issues going on with oats right now. I mean, there's like a fungus thing going on with them. I wouldn't eat oats at the moment. Um, but regardless, I wouldn't recommend grain as a way of eating healthy. I can understand Lizzo. I think she was trying to go vegan at this point. Um, she was, it looks like she was having some kind of oat milk. Also, in my opinion, not the best. It'd be better just to have regular saturated fat cow milk um but she wants to do fruits and so you can see that she's making this effort towards you know trying to put more what she considers healthier foods into her diet and then we have 2023 where we can see she's actively trying now to improve her overall health so you can see in this video just all the strength training she's doing she's trying to build up her muscle mass and that's a really great thing to do if you're very overweight building your muscle mass is a big deal as we've talked about in many videos i'll repeat it again 
Building muscle mass helps you burn more calories, it helps improve your metabolism, and it helps regulate your hormones. And she looks like she's doing some Pilates. She's doing things that seem to be very challenging for her body, which is a great thing because that means that she's going to get health benefits from it. And another thing I've talked about in the past too is that, you know, when you don't have a lot of time or money, it's very difficult to lose weight because it does take a lot of time to dedicate to it. I am working very hard this summer to dedicate a lot of time to eating healthy, living more healthy lifestyle. It's basically my full-time job for the summer because I don't have a job this summer, so that's what I'm doing. And Lizzo is in a position now where she has a lot of, you know, wealth that she's made from being a very successful performing artist that she can now take the time to hire people to help her to, to work out, um, to teach her how to work out, teach her how to do all these things that maybe in the past she didn't really know how to do because she didn't have the means to figure it out. I mean, yeah, it's great now to have like YouTube and the internet to help you out, but Lizzo's like my age. She is a fellow millennial. I think she's like 36. And she probably went through the same thing I did growing up where you just didn't really even know what to do. You didn't know what was healthy. They had all these diet fads coming at you left and right. And doctors are telling you to eat this if you want to be healthy, but then you'd eat it and you'd just get fatter. So yeah, I can really feel for her there, but now that she's in the position where she can actually take the time to dedicate that to her body, and that isn't to say that you can't lose weight if you don't have a lot of money. I'm just saying the time and the commitment you have to put towards it is more difficult. You're probably going to end up losing weight a lot slower than the average person who could dedicate all the time to it. Here is another video where she shows a comparison between where she started her life journey to where she is now. Now, she doesn't look that different in these videos, but you can see a little bit of like tonedness to her muscles. Um, she looks kind of like the same size, but she does look like she's stronger. And so you can see definitely the benefits of doing Pilates. And Pilates is hard. I tried doing Pilates and I realized, man, I gotta like, I gotta lose like 100 pounds where I can't even do Pilates. Look good for her that she could do it. But I have, I've also broken my back twice. So I just don't have the best back strength to handle it. Maybe one day. Seems like it'd be a lot of fun. So in this next video, we're gonna watch her do her whole workout routine, which let's, let's watch it together and kind of see what she's doing. Let's work out. And okay. So she is, did some walking for 30 minutes. Now she's doing these roll things. That's probably like to stretch her back muscles out. That's the only thing I can think. Okay, so I'm like balance things, coordination. That's really going to work on your muscles. Um, walking though is great. That's a great warm up activity to do. And you do burn a lot of calories if you're that overweight just from walking. Jeez, she's doing planks. No, I can't do planks, man. I can't. <laughs> Good for her. And she's doing abs. I do abs. I hate doing abs. I actually, I hate, love it. I love doing it. I hate the after effects where it hurts. <laughs> But yeah, she's she's working out really hard. I mean, she, like I said, she's building muscle, and that's the great thing um, to do if you're that overweight. Um, she's continuing to do more strength training. Looks like the, the only cardio she's doing so far is just walking, which is at her size. That's actually perfect. Um, and she's foam rolling. It's probably to really help her muscles. Oh, oh, sauna. Good for you. Yeah, sauna's great. Um, it definitely improves your cardiovascular health. And honestly, it's very, very stress relieving. And if you're overweight, you're probably chronically stressed. But yeah, I really love watching that. I just think that that is a great routine to do if you can do it. I'm doing a little bit more simpler routine just because I have um, a lot more joint issues due to my, um, my joint disorder. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty cool. And then you can see in this next video, just in 2024, um, just how much weight she's lost. Now, clearly she's still like very big, but there's definitely a difference. She's definitely smaller than she was. And you can see that what she's doing is helping. And then she just gives up the finger. <laughs> and now we have this next video where she's actually going to talk about losing weight and kind of see what her perspective is on her health journey. So everybody's like, oh my gosh, Lizzo, you lost so much weight, but I don't really see it because if anyone who's on a natural weight loss journey knows, losing weight is actually the slowest thing in the world and you don't really notice it until you notice it. Also, the scale's not really moving. But anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm super proud of my current lifestyle, so I'm going to show you uh, what I do in a day. Okay, so I want to take um, a beat and talk about some of the things that she said. Natural weight loss journey. Um, I assume that means that she's losing weight by trying to eat healthy and to exercise, just living overall healthier lifestyle, but not necessarily probably counting calories or just trying to do more active, healthy things, which you will lose weight if you do that. Now she's saying the scale's not really moving. Well, she's doing a lot of strength training, so she's probably losing some body fat 
and she's, uh, but she's also gaining muscle at the same time. Now, um, she's probably not losing that much body fat if the scale isn't moving, but if you look at her body, she does look more toned. So it's definitely working. Her body composition is changing. It's just um, not being reflected yet in fat loss as much as it is in muscle building. Also, yes, the bonnet is yitty and the robe is yitty too. I heard people talking about how come celebrity brands don't have bonnets. We did have bonnets and they sold out and I see them on people's heads all the time. Yay, might do it again, might not. <laughs> first things first, I don't go to sleep with my phone anymore and I don't wake up with my phone. I wake up gently to the sound of sound bowls with this alarm. It's very cool. Then I put on these Tibetan sound bowls and I normally just have a morning of thoughts, um, meditative relaxation, no phone, just vibes. Just showered, now I'm gonna oil my body up and put on this cute outfit for my workout. I have an 11 step skincare routine. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is sunscreen, new edition. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Then I just give myself a little lymphatic. Let's go make a smoothie. Okay, I thought that was cute. I, I also have a very detailed skincare routine. Um, so I can totally relate to that. That didn't really show so much of what she was doing working out. That's where we see in the next part. But what I did like is the, you know, she is prioritizing her, her sleep. She is prioritizing her mental state. And half the battle with getting healthy and losing weight is prioritizing your mental state. You have to make sure you're in a healthy mindset to do all this. And a lot of times, there's a reason why people remain overweight for so long, and it's typically because they're not in the best mental headspace. There's usually, um, my friend Alex has talked about this, but there's like usually a pathos associated with losing weight, whether that's um, an ED or hormonal issues. Either of those things can cause a less than healthy mental state. So I understand needing to prioritize that in order for her to have the best start to the day. Spoonful is cocoa energy powder. My biggest flex is I am now an almond milk girly. Though it tastes like ass, it has less calories. <laughs> she is right. It does taste like ass. So she's spot on there. But almond milk, I think it's so bad for you. I would never, ever, ever, ever drink it. And I don't really know about the whole fewer calories thing. It'd just be better to have more calories and drink the healthier thing, which is whole milk. I drink whole milk every day. I'm losing weight. It's fine. I'm all for the fruits. I think fruits are amazing for losing weight. Ice. Then I take a shot. Tincture shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bottoms up, it's so disgusting. But if I can take shots of tequila, I can take shots of something that can help my immune system. I have no idea what that is. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what that is. I mean, it, it seems like she thinks it helps, so. I also take some vitamins and I ran out of my B Vitality, but let me tell you something. The girls are big. And this is my favorite, probably most underrated part of a day is going outside. Um, clearly it's raining, but when it's not raining and the sun is out, I love to get 10 minutes of direct sunlight. I love to breathe um, and play maybe sound bowls. Um, but right now I'm just gonna sit outside, get some fresh air and drink my smoothie. So I have a little extra time. So I'm gonna get a little 30 minute meditation in real quick. Vibes. So now I come down here and I do some cardio and Pilates. So because my Pilates regimen is pretty intense, I don't go crazy on the treadmill. I just like walk, and I would actually prefer to walk outside, but you know, I like to walk because any stress, any anxiety, any tension, any anger that I've had in my body, I kind of forget about it by the time I'm done walking. And it's great for cardiovascular, it's great for singers, which I am, part-time. <laughs> And I like to have a nice little like warm up and sweaty finish when I do Pilates. 
And I think that's great. If you're, like w- walking should be a warm up if you're going to do really intense, you know, strength training or uh, um, muscle building, like weightlifting. That's what I did. Actually, today I went to the gym. I did 30 minutes on the treadmill. I didn't go faster than three miles per hour. I really can't sustain that much. And it's nothing to do with like my weight. It's anything to do with my hips. I go to physical therapy for hip issues caused by me breaking my back. And so I can't really get as long of a stride, so I can't walk that fast. So I do use it primarily for just, you know, getting low impact cardio in and warming up. And then I go really, really, really hard on the strength training. And maybe one day once I've strengthened my back and my legs and my arms enough, I'll be able to walk faster, um, have a better stride. But for now, you know, that's what we got to do. And so I totally get that. I think that's actually excellent. So basically mental health first. Don't stress yourself out on no exercise equipment more than you have to. Do it because you want to. Time to sort it out. So this is the part of the day where I reflect on what I'm about to do. Sometimes I listen to like demos I'm working on. Um, I'm about to do that right now because I'm in the studio today. And um, this was it. Like I sit in here for like 20 minutes and then I go and get ready for the day. Yay, yay. I might do a get ready with me if you want, bitch. But this is my morning routine. All right. Love you. Take care of yourselves. Yeah, so I really like that. And I, I definitely like finishing in the sauna. If I could do that every single day, I would. My parents have a sauna. Um, we come up from a very big sauna culture. We're Estonian. Estonians are very close to the Finnish. We actually have a traditional Finnish sauna that's made with Estonian wood. Um, I say we as if I live there. I don't. I live 15 minutes away. But I um, I go over there and I use the sauna whenever I can. And it's just, it's so nice. It's so relaxing. And you feel healthier coming out of it. I mean, I think there's a reason why the Finns and the Estonians, you can meet like a 75 year old Estonian and they look 50. Just saying, we got amazing genetics, but we also have amazing saunas. And I honestly think that's a big part of it. It increases blood flow, gives a beautiful skin. I want to look 35 still at 20 years. <laughs> In this next video, um, we're going to watch something very interesting. She's going to guasha her stomach. And this is going to seem kind of weird at first because you're like, why is she like slapping her stomach around and like rolling things on it? Well, when you lose weight, you get a lot of loose skin in in various areas. And so it is worth it to stimulate that skin to increase blood flow and try to make it snap back as much as possible. It might not be possible at a certain weight, but you still want to give it as much care as you can to to help it along as you're losing weight. The slower you lose the weight, the more likely you, you will have less loose skin. But um, at the same time, at a certain extent, your skin is so damaged, you can't really come back from it. But I wanted to watch this one and kind of see what she's doing. This, hey, you know, she's, she's thinking about it, right? Have you paid attention to yourself today? Have you shown yourself some love today? Thank you, Belly. I love you so much. Thank you for nourishing me. Thank you for carrying all of my emotions. Thank you for making me happy. Thank you for being my other brain. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Hi, chat. Remember when I said I was going to try something new every week? Well, this week I am trying wood therapy on my stomach, on my tum-tum. So I have heard, I mean, first off, I've heard incredible things about wood therapy on your stomach, but I've also done guasa on my face, and I absolutely love the results that I've had. So I was like, okay, if I can guasa on my face, why not guasa on my tummy? Wait, is it? Are you supposed to go in? Oh, so first we're just going to break up some stagnation, all of that. Yeah, so this is like a cup. Oh, I didn't even oil my stomach. First, I'm oiling up with some coconut milk, black castor oil, and we're about to break it up. So they say you five minutes each side, so it's 10 minutes a day. Um, why? Well, for one thing, it helps with digestion. Oof. I literally like burp. Oh my God, literally makes you burp. Cause it's just moving. Oof, my knees moving, moving. And also it helps with circulation, helps with inflammation, all the Asians. Doing the other side. Yeah, so what she said there helps with inflammation, um, helps with circulation. You want to get circulation to that area of your stomach. It's going to make um, your skin healthier. Um, I, I mean, I don't really know if this is backed by science, but I do understand the whole gua sha thing. I read into that, and I have done gua sha, and I have found it actually helps with your face. 
um, and it can help with skin tightening when losing weight. And you know my favorite part about it is, I get to touch my tummy every single day. Yeah, she said she is doing it for skin tightening to some extent. So yeah, that's basically what I said. This is so vulnerable. To show her some love. I want everything on me to be soft. Oof. I don't know about you guys, but I have been depressed. And the only thing that has been helping me is just like focusing on my body, throwing myself into routines. I'm a Virgo moon, so maybe that works for me. But like, And now this is like kind of my new obsession because it distracts me from the darkness. And you can make fun of or hate on my big stomach all you want, honey. I am bettering myself and my life every single day. I see the value in my big tummy. The only way to improve your body is to love your body. So, hate on me all you want, bitch. I love me. I just made this one up. I think this one just feels good. Somebody's gonna correct me. Just like with Guasa, correct me. I invite all of the stomach Guasa baddies, wood therapy baddies on this app to give me some tips. Have a good day. So I really, really love what you said there about the only way to improve your body is to love your body. And that is 100% true. And we can get into an argument over what fat shaming is, not really the point. The, um, but I will, I have always taken that stance that you do have to get yourself into a better mental state. You do have to love yourself, love your body in order to improve your body. And she's like, yeah, you can hate on me all you want, but I'm improving my body every single day. That's the kind of mindset that you want, right? We can see the results of her work. She is losing weight, albeit very slowly. It's better to do it slowly than not at all, right? She is making herself healthier. I don't agree with her diet, but um, I, I can always, always get on board with somebody doing that much strength training. Like, good for her. I mean, we should be applauding that and, and not really uh, trying to blame her anymore for promoting obesity, in my opinion, if she's actively putting this out there and saying, hey, look at me, I'm working out. I'm trying to get healthier. I am losing weight slowly, but I'm trying to do it in a way that works for me. So, you know, good for her. Here's another video of another uh, routine that she's doing. You can see um, she's working much harder with the cardio and strength training. Okay, so you can see here that she is um, kind of showing off, I think it's her clothing line, and she does look a lot thinner than she did previously at the, the start of her video series that we were doing. Now, she is kind of wearing shapewear a bit for the workout, but still, she's she's smaller, she's doing well. Look, she's doing the ropes, she's getting her cardio in, she's working on her muscles, she looks tired, I would be too, and... Um, She's now, like, she's doing her dumbbell. I'm not sure what that technique is, but she's, I don't know what that is. It looks like maybe she's, uh, she's getting a sweat. And, I mean, I'm not really sure, like, what, you know, what is the benefit of some of these exercises. Definitely dumbbells are really gonna do dumbbells, too. That I understand. She's getting lots of cardio in, and she's, she's working her muscles. Um, but I think if you're both breaking a sweat, you're probably doing something right when it comes to cardio. Man, she really is working her back here. Kettlebell. And now she's dancing. Yeah, so I really do like that routine that she's doing. I mean, it's not the same one that I do. I would do something completely different. But, I mean, great for her. Now we can see in this picture kind of like the results of her weight loss. You can see kind of just how big she was a year ago in May 23 and just how much weight she's lost in 2024. Yeah, she's still big, but she's on the right track. And I think we should really applaud and encourage her for that. I know I talked about this, but South Park recently did an episode where they were kind of making fun of her and body positivity. She actually had some responses to that as well, which I will show after put out my South Park reaction. Um, I just think she really does take it in stride. I think she just does a great job trying to be very positive. But yeah, um, you know, great job, Lizzo. I think that's really inspiring to a lot of people. If she can do it, then maybe other people will try it as well. Let me know if you are also on your own weight loss journey or fitness journey. What do you think about this? Um, do you think that Lizzo's doing something? What could you do better? How would you improve it? And how do you think this is going to impact popular culture and how we think about our bodies? 
Um, I'm personally for us trying to be as healthy as possible. I don't think that you can be healthy if you're super morbidly obese, but I also want to encourage anybody who's taking active steps towards improving that. So yeah, anyways, you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Like, subscribe. Bye.